I notice fast racers raise Q factor a lot, says Atreides FPV. Atreides, hey, uh, good to see you. Atreides is the uh, builder for 533. If he anybody knows anything about fast racers, it's him. Uh, what Atreides, I believe, is talking about, what Atreides is talking about is here in the PID tuning tab, Wait. Yeah. Here in the PID tuning tab, in the filter settings, we have the notch filter and we have the Q factor. And the Q factor is the width of the notch. And the wider the notch is higher Q factor, a narrower notch. Higher value makes it narrower. Okay. So the notch filter is notching out a section of the motor of the frequency spectrum. So if the motor is making a peak in the frequency spectrum, the notch filter chops out just that, that peak. The wider the notch, the more it chops out the peak, but the more delay there is. The narrower the notch the less filtering there is, the less effective it is at chopping up the peak, but the lower the latency. So by raising Q factor, you're making the dynamic notches narrower. Now, keep in mind that we actually have gyro RPM filters in Betaflight for, I don't remember when the RPM filter started, 4.3, maybe 4.2. So it used to be that the dynamic notch filter's job was to deal with the motors. Now we have the RPM filters to deal with the motors. And the notch filter's job is to pick up any other sort of like frame resonance and so forth. So you might just disable the not the dynamic notch entirely. Or by, by raising the Q factor, you make it narrower. And so like you're letting the gyros take care of the motors and the, the dynamic notch is like, well, we kind of don't need it as much. So we're going to it's still it's still nice to have the dynamic notch enabled uh, because like you might have frame resonance and you kind of don't know where it is and this will just automatically pick it up and get rid of it. But I think maybe the thinking is that you're just reducing that latency a little bit. How much are you reducing the latency though? That's the question, Atreides. Um, and I'm not going to be able to answer that question for you. It's a math question. I don't have the, I don't know the numbers. I don't know the formula. But But basically when you raise the Q factor the latency gets lower. But how much latency? Notch filters already have fairly low latency. So like I can also reduce the latency by pushing these sliders to the right. You can't see the slider because we're zoomed in. I can also lower the latency by pushing these sliders to the right, which racers also do. So all of it is just an attempt to, to reduce the latency of the PID loop and improve the handling of the quad. And that's why raising the Q factor uh, why racers might raise the Q factor.